everyone. Today I'd like to focus on a mnemonic that I use daily to highlight some of the key aspects of the general care of critically ill patients. And today we're going to be briefly discussing an oldie but a goodie from Critical Care Medicine 2005 entitled Give Your Patients a Fast Hug Once Daily. So this article focuses on one simple mnemonic that can be applied to all critically ill patients. Now some aspects of it may not apply to certain patients, but it definitely can be used in all patients. So simply put, the mnemonic is fast hug, okay? And we'll go over each individual component here. So F is for feeding. So proper nutrition for critically ill patients is vital for wound healing, and general improvement in their care. So whether the patient can be started on enteral feeding or needs total parental nutrition, this is something that should be addressed daily. A stands for analgesia. So one of the key aspects of care of a critically ill patient is pain control. So whether that be in the form of PRN or as needed medications or what we commonly use in the intensive care unit, um, opioid drips or fentanyl drips. So obviously we want to make sure all of our patients are receiving appropriate analgesia. S. Sedation. Sedation is another key aspect of care of critically ill patients. Of course, if they're intubated, generally the patients are going to require some type of sedation unless they do have quite possibly maybe some patients don't require sedation such as patients with an anoxic brain injury but sedation is vital to help with many different aspects of care in the critically ill patient and as far as being synchronous with the vent and just overall comfort for the patient T T stands for thromboembolic prophylaxis so patients that are not mobile and lying in bed are at increased risk for venous thromboembolism. So it's important that we address this issue, whether it be through mechanical prophylaxis with the use of intermittent pneumatic compression devices or SCDs or stockings, or chemical prophylaxis with medications such as unfractionated heparin or low molecular weight heparin. H stands for head of the bed. So in critically ill patients, studies have shown that keeping the head of the bed elevated to roughly 30 to 45 degrees may decrease the incidence of aspiration. So this is something that can easily be detected and looked at while rounding on the patient. U. U stands for ulcer prophylaxis. So specifically we're talking about stress ulcer prophylaxis. And currently, we are waiting for some updated guidelines regarding stress ulcer prophylaxis. And there have been two independent risk factors for developing stress ulcers. So the first independent risk factor is mechanical ventilation greater than or equal to 48 hours and a coagulopathy. So if your patient has either one of those independent risk factors, Stress ulcer prophylaxis should be strongly considered. And the most common agents utilized for stress ulcer prophylaxis include H2 blockers and or PPIs, proton pump inhibitors. G stands for glycemic control. So proper glycemic control is vital in critically ill patients. We do know that a tight control of blood glucose has been related to hypoglycemia and worse outcomes. So more of a conservative approach with blood glucoses of 140 to 150 milligrams per deciliter and less than definitely less than 180 milligrams per deciliter is the target. But nonetheless, the glycemic control is very important for critically ill patients. So, like I said before, this mnemonic is something that I use daily when I'm looking at patients and preparing for rounds with the team. It promotes a collaborative work environment. You know, everyone can go down this mental checklist. It doesn't have to be something that's necessarily discussed, but if there is an issue or a gap in care, then everyone 
can be involved and perform this mental checklist to help improve outcomes of their patient. If you guys have any questions, leave them below. If you liked the video and thought it was helpful, please share it and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on our new videos that we put out weekly. Thanks guys, we'll see you next video.